It's really no surprise for most of us out there that U.S. household wealth is down. It has just now been made official and reporting from the third quarter. And we're going to explain why this is happening as well as what you can do to protect your wealth. I'll explain, and part of the answer lies on the screen before you hear. I'll give you all the details as we explore. Yes, indeed, wealth is down officially. Waters is reporting the U.S. household wealth fell to roughly $151 trillion in the third quarter. And you think about that with the amount of wealth that's out there, that's a lot, but it was a lot more before. Um, and we have uh, $33.9 trillion in debt right now. And so when you look at that number as a nation, and of course you look at household debt, it's a much higher than that. But that's how much wealth exists around the country now. But it is dropped. It is dropped now. In fact, household net worth fell about 1% in the period from July through September. Now, that, that may not sound like much, but that's a short period of time for it to drop. And that was from $152.3 trillion at the end of the second quarter to now $151 trillion. That's according to a quarterly snapshot of the balance sheets of households and businesses. And when you think about what's happening here with real estate going up and that is climbing, in spite of some of the numbers and some of what we've seen in economic activity, there's a lot of economic activity happening now. But you know, what, what is contributing to this? Well, fear of further inflation. That's why the value is dropping because this is worth much less. In fact, as I record this video, um, it is sitting at 3.2%, but the numbers are about to be released, and likely we'll probably see it fall, maybe even below 3%, probably not by much. I would be surprised to see it higher, but the thing is, is what's happening here? Well, economic activity is occurring because people are having to work two or more jobs to make ends meet. In fact, what's contributing to the low employment rate? The employment rate has ticked lower. A lot of government jobs are being created. And so essentially you're robbing Peter to pay Paul. And more and more people are having to work and their wages are not keeping up with inflation. So they're having to work two jobs or have side hustles in order to make ends meet. It's really unfortunate that that's what's, what we've come to in this country, but it is indeed the case. And why is this? Well, because of two reasons. Number one, the Federal Reserve is at fault as they print too much money, but they are kind of forced to, to some extent, in order to pay for government programs, government initiatives. And government is at the biggest and largest it has been in the history of the United States, and it's proven by the deficit spending that's occurring, and that is a direct punishment to you, the taxpayer, and it's a 100% it's a benefit to those who are getting the uh, government handouts and uh, getting the subsidies. But nonetheless, for those of us who work, it's, uh, it's getting tougher and tougher for us to make ends meet. So what can we do to protect our wealth? Well, the answer is on the screen here before you here, but there's other ways you can do it as well too. I'm not just going to talk about gold and silver, by the way, but that is a very strong way that you can protect your wealth outside of the system. That's crucial and key here, folks, because I think in some cases, well, most of us uh, and a lot of more people are starting to realize that there is corruption in this system, and it's something that is quite uh, paramount, and the system is going to be reformed in some way, but that reformation will probably reveal itself in some sort of currency reset down the road. Uh, they have plenty of time to make that happen because the dollar is the cleanest of the dirty shirts in the laundry pile, but it is still a dirty shirt because of inflation, because of what they're doing with it. But its reserve status is paramount and it is strong because of that compared to other currencies out there. 
many of these central banks are kind of in lockstep with what they're doing. They kind of almost talk to each other and say, well, we do this, we do that. It's all about in comparison and the strongest currencies out there are kind of working together in the West to kind of make things happen. But what's happening in the East and what's happening around uh, many of these countries, including Western nations more and more, well, people are wising up to what the value of gold and silver are. Value transcends price, and that's why it's important to have some value outside of the system. But I'm going to talk a little bit more about that later in the video. But first, let's talk about other ways you can preserve your wealth uh, with these dollars. There are certain things that you can um, put your money in. There are some financial instruments, such as certificates of deposits, money market accounts, that may not fully uh, capture the inflation rate now because some of those have come down. But my money market account, for instance, went down. But I've recently just uh, talked to my banker about it. To my surprise, the, uh, that individual was able to, to raise my rate up again to almost near inflation. And that's a very safe way to do it. There are certain bond markets you can look into. In fact, remember this community constitutional stacker has one that is actually performing well above the inflation rate. And it is not a government bond either, but there is some risk dealing with some uh, market of uh, bonds and that type of thing. But you can reach out to him for further details on that. But uh, there are uh, relatively safe ways that you can go and that you can put your money into uh, to protect yourself. Even nowadays, there was a thing called I-bonds. I don't think that's really much of a thing before. And there were really more things that worked against it than helped in that situation. So you got to be very careful out there in terms of that, of those things. The riskier ways to protect your wealth is, well, it involves risk. Investing in cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, has done very well. Admittedly enough, even though I'm not really uh, much into uh, the cryptocurrencies, I'm not against people who, who do and make money off of it. There certainly is value there, but it's a, it's, it comes at a pretty great risk, especially when it's uh, reaching these high numbers that, it is, that it, we've seen here lately. Um, and we don't know where it's going to go. Same thing with the stock market. Uh, there, are, there are ways to invest in stocks and that you can, you can uh, do very well. Um, and that's something you can do to protect your wealth. Something more practical you can do is stock up, prepare. You know, we talk about prepping uh, and most people think, see that as a negative connotation in some aspects because you're hoarding supplies. But you know what? Uh, look at uh, things like toilet paper, um, uh, things to protect yourself, even knives and, and, um, and other goods and services that are not perishable that you can stock up on that you know are going to increase in price with inflation. If you have a supply of that stuff, well, you basically are hedging yourself against further price increases for the items that you gather. Nothing wrong with in stockpiling toothpaste, honey, um, other non-perishable goods, even some uh, food supplies. You know, there's some places you can go, you can get MREs or even, you know, uh, prepared food that has a, a long 25-year shelf life. Some of those meals are fairly expensive and they're very high in sodium. But there's ways, there's, there's other things you can do, there's things you can stock up on to protect yourself down the road. And I think that's part of what's contributing to the economy now is people are already doing that because they see what's coming, they see what's happening now, and so they are stockpiling. They are doing the, the, those type of things already because the value of our dollar is declining um, at, a, at a, over 3% as of the recording of this video. So that's something you could do that you can do um, other ways that you can protect yourself is, like I said, having that second job, maybe even a third side hustle. Find ways to make money that is that uh, balances your time uh, investment versus the the return on that investment in time. One thing I would not do is fill out online surveys. I've tried it; it is a complete and utter waste of time. And a lot of those things you try it and you got to start over. They don't like your answers. They that expired. Total waste of time. Don't do online surveys. But there are other things you can do probably online and find ways. But you have to be very careful because some of those things maybe require investment or, or something. You got to do this or do that. Look at the fine details. Read the fine print for that kind of stuff. Usually if something like that seems too good to be true. It usually is. 
but you know, doing other things like an Uber or a side hustle, selling some things on eBay or what have you, especially things you don't have anymore. We are a, a stuff consumer nation. We have a lot of stuff. I have a lot of stuff. I could probably do that. Sell some things that you don't need anymore. Find other things you can do uh, to be able that you normally would, uh, that you can cut back on, cut some of your spending, do what the government does not do, cut spending in your budgets to, to help uh, free up some cash that you otherwise would not have and take that money and put it into a money market or a certificate of deposit or something of that sort. Now let's get the precious metals. Because yes, that is a way to protect your wealth. And I'm talking about having the actual physical precious metals, not ETFs. Nothing wrong with putting money in ETFs, though. Um, but r realize that it's only exposure to silver and gold's price and not the actual metal itself. Having silver and gold outside of the system provides single-party risk. Uh, but it's a risk that is, is definitely worthy to take because you literally have wealth that is a savings vehicle that you can touch and you can hold in your hand that has proven itself to be a store of value in the long course of time. But that's how you have to realize because value is different than price. The price will fluctuate, but you have it in the case of an emergency or a hold for the long term because during the course of that time, it will protect you against inflation. It's proven to do that over time, but you have to be smart about it. You have to be utilize a dollar cost averaging approach. Obviously, there are premiums you pay whenever you go to purchase a bar or a coin or a round. Those premiums, uh, you will not get back. Uh, you will not get back unless the price goes up fairly dramatically, and usually it doesn't. Um, any course of time, even the biggest price increases we've seen lately, in order to recapture your premium, especially on silver, it has to go up a lot more than it did then, that's for sure. Because, uh, you know, in fact, uh, as I record this video, silver, for instance, has gone up what a normal premium would be for a, 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 a privately issued round. And, uh, and that premium has pretty much disappeared in the matter of a couple of other days, or that cost is, that price has disappeared in a matter of a couple of days with the consolidation period with the markets. They can be volatile and are volatile now because we live in a, a very uncertain uh, situation in terms of our economy now. So those are the things to understand and comprehend when you have silver and gold as a wealth preservation tool to, to protect your wealth. Because it's not about protecting your wealth in the here and now. It's about protecting yourself into the future. Tomorrow. It's a preservation device for tomorrow because we don't know what's going to happen with currencies and the revaluation. Some people say that down the road, everything is going to be revalued. Gold and silver will when they reset the currencies and the dollar. Um, so who knows what could happen. But one thing is for sure, gold and silver surpass all currencies, epochs, generations, nation states, empires, and monetary systems. And obviously that includes some of the manipulators that are out there that manipulate the economy, commodities, and gold and silver by extension. So keep that in mind. To protect your wealth is to be smart. And one way to do that is with gold and silver and also conservative ways to take and make your dollars work for you to hedge against inflation that we're seeing now. So I hope you found this video informative, insightful, and educational. I would like to extend a multitude of gratitude to each and every one of you for taking the time to watch and encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.